we go. We're getting into Bam Bam. So, Bam Bam. Just brunt, brutal force and some strength. So, that's this workout today. Um, this workout is for time, so you will just let the timer go and it's going to count away. Um, there's only three movements. None of them are popular movements. We're going to get complaints about going to the Raspberry Patch. Um, we're going to get good and tired doing some hang dumbbell snatches. And then of course everyone's favorite box jumping burpees. So let's get right into it. How this will start is we're going to start it out with 20 burpee box jump overs. So burpee box jump overs, all right? If you don't have a box that you can go over, you're just going to want something like a couch, right Sheila? Uh, ottoman, um, or even to a chair. And so it's burpee box jump over. So it's chest to ground, we're here, onto the box, right? We're going to cross, and then we're back down to burpees again and working our way back and forth. All right, for 20 total reps. Now, for those of you that that jump might not work or we might not have something good to jump onto, or if we even we want to, um, let's say, scale those burpees to sprawls, we could do that right here, and we could just do a step up and step back down, but always lead with a different foot every time if we're gonna do that, okay? So, and then even with our burpees, if we want, we can go down, we can step back, we can step up, right? And we're just going to do the stepping ones. If you are doing burpee box jump overs, you do not have to jump and clap because you're jumping onto the box and going over, okay? So that's first movement. After that, we're getting into 30 alternating dumbbell hang snatches. So that hang snatch, that's that dumbbell hanging between your legs, right? Foot to the knee. And when we were extending rapidly through our hips, right? And into a shrug and moving that dumbbell overhead. Now that rep is finished when we lock that arm out overhead, okay? Then it comes down. Sorry. And then when it comes down, we're snatching. One quick movement overhead. Okay, so that's your reps, 30 reps, okay? So there's no pause at the shoulder, and we're just in that hanging position. Those should go quick, okay? After you're done that, we're down for 50 sit-ups. So 50 sit-ups, feet are together, my chin, chest, that bit distance doesn't change. We're just sitting those up, that shoulder makes that hip crease, Every rep, okay? Go careful that we're not bouncing our tailbone while we're doing that. That's where the raspberry patch comes from. Um, so, we're here. And think about pushing that tailbone into the ground, okay? If we can't keep our feet together, that's fine. If we need to hook them under something, that's fine. Same thing, getting that full range of motion. Okay? So, that's our three movements. So it's 20 box facing burpees. You're gonna go into 30 alternating hang snatches. You're gonna go into 20 box facing burpees. Then you're gonna go back to 50 ab mat sit up, pardon me, 50 sit ups. Unless you have an ab mat at home and you wanna use your ab mat. Uh, then we're going back to 30 hang snatches. And then finally, 20 more box facing burpees. So I look at box facing burpees. 20 of them, you're probably looking at about two minutes, just over two minutes per session. So I see probably seven or eight minutes worth of burpees. Those hang snatches, that's probably gonna be about another minute. Those sit-ups, probably gonna be about a minute and a half. So you see how that flows through for time. So if we were to pile up those burpees, we're probably looking at seven or eight minutes. Those snatches, we're looking probably about two, two and a half. So there we're at 10. And then you got your 50 sit-ups, uh, 50 sit-ups. Uh, that's probably gonna take another minute and a half too. So we're probably looking at around that 12 to 15 minute range for this workout. So push your pace, go careful with those sit-ups, be careful with those box jump overs. Okay, good luck.